Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, should, I forgot to get more vitamin C. I mean, I'm feeling pretty much 100%, but I kind of just have like a sugar thing. All right, let's put, a, <coughs> I'll put it on my table here. I'll pop one after I'm done with this video. <sighs> so, yeah, thanks everyone for uh, wishing me uh, feeling better. So, that's actually good. And, yeah, I do feel better. So, th thanks a lot for that. You know, it's pretty amazing what you know, taking your supplements and two nights in a row of really good sleep, thanks to the silent prayer, can uh, do for you. Mm. So, I should also drink water, but alright, well, whatever. Alright, so, I don't, rem I don't remember when I bought this, I think it was like at least a few days ago, and of course it's got... Oh, I forgot to bring up, uh, I forgot to bring up Yield Wolf for us. Yeah, so I'm really liking these auto compounders, because they really do just make you way more money. All right, and basically turning every single Tomb Fork project into pancake auto cake. I mean, there's actually no excuse for being poor anymore, all right? It doesn't take much money to make a lot of money. I mean, I know that, like, waiting 12 hours, 24 hours, a couple of days seems like an eternity, but... You know, that's just how it goes. Okay, so this is the correct one. Let me see if I can just type it in, because I know they ha they're they on Yield Wolf. Uh, oh, it's this one. I think I just write based. All right, based finance. Yep, there we go. Okay, so this is all based finance, and I don't act Now that I was about to do this video, and I was opening up all the links, all right, which is, you know, these Papega clowns over here. It actually didn't occur to me that maybe the reason why this project is so overpaid and very valuable with a lot of TVL, right? This has got a TVL of like almost $70 million, right? I think it's actually because of these curve and curve geese uh, liquidity pools. Well, actually, I could test that right now. Let's just take a look. Yeah, the curve pool has $10.4 million put into that and the curve geese has 27.6 million. So this is where most of the money is, is. So this project actually works because they're using curve. Okay, so this is actually why it's so expensive because this because this project normally breaks a lot of my rules because this is way over peg. But the reason why uh, but the reason why people are paying this much is because what they really want is this. They want the curve, I guess. Or it's a little hard because I mean, now that I'm kicked out of the congruent policy team, it turns out Sim got kicked out too. He he was the he was the policy head too. Um, you know, they were discussing a lot about curve and convex wars, right? Because of the whole curve war stupid shit. And from what I remember, you know, curve is like a really, I mean, it's basically a very fancy quote unquote stable stable ish coin. That's what I like to call it. And then you just get some risk-free yields out of it, right? So it's basically a good way to earn, you know, a very high interest rate on stable coins. But instead of, getting, but instead of staking stable coins, you, you stake convex and curve. And then you have all this DAO voting shit, which confused the hell out of me. It still does to this day. But whatever it is, it obviously works. And that's why, like, a lot, like these things are, like, multi-billion dollar market caps. So basically, I think what I can tell from this is these guys have figured out a way to tie themselves not only to Tomb and thus ingratiate themselves to Harry E, multi-billionaire in Abu Dhabi or something like that. Um, ah, did it again. But they also tie themselves to Curve, right? So you're really just hitching your ride to like a multi-billion dollar project and people are like, yo, this, is the, this base finance shit is like the real deal. You know, we need to ape in here. And it clearly works. I mean, they got the TVL locked in to just prove it, right? All right. I mean, this. Sh I, 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 be I briefly looked at Geist. I still don't remember what Geist is. I just know it's important. So I'll just put it in the in the thing. But yeah, this project works really well because of Curve and Geist. So let's see. Yeah. So it also has a much lower daily APY. So there's probably a reason for for something like this. Yeah, because this is Curve Tri Crypto. So, yeah, but let's see. How many Twitter followers do you have? 
3255. First, I had two of my fans. They have a KYC to whatever that is, a, a sure DeFi, and then some kind of audits in progress. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, Yield Wolf added them two days ago. Oh, so I actually joined this just when I started investing them, in them. So, yeah, I probably joined actually February 17th. Huh. Oh, you know what it is? I think I figured... Oh, I found these guys by just randomly browsing Yield Wolf. Because that's because I need a, I need more content, right? Also, I want more projects to invest in. So that's how I found these guys. It was like, hey, based finance. And rather than the Zoomers, right? Because, you know, based and cringe are the words they use nowadays. You know, when I was, you know, way younger. Damn, I'm that old. Yeah, but when I was way younger, in my 20s, right? You know, we would say, I mean, not even 20s, but in like teenage years, we would say fat, like P-H-A-T, because that's what black rappers used to say. Uh, and then we also call people the F word, and then we also said, call them the G word, all right? You know, we were we were the real base people back then. Now with all the stupid censorship, like, you just can't have any fun anymore. You can't say what you really want to say. But, yeah, anyway, I believe I am in... Well, I mean, yeah, so, okay, so that's, all right, so that's the, okay, that's the boardroom. So, yeah, so that's pretty much probably why this thing, because I was wondering why is this thing so valuable. I just know that it is, but I just didn't know why. So, okay, well, now we have our answer, all right, because there's a curve in Geist, and they basically use the tomb fork to attach themselves to it. And the chances are, because curve's involved in some form, they probably have some kind of, like, DAO voting thing, too, so... They're probably getting bribe income and good treasury income from that and blah, blah, blah. And I did see that they do have a link here called the Olympus Dow Fund, right? I'm pretty sure they're not tying themselves to Olympus. They're just, like, copying the, the, the concept. But hopefully minus all those stupid bullshit. You can read that here in their documentation. Uh, and then here's your boardroom, right? So actually, so this is the only thing I care about because I'm obviously not doing curve shit. It's just too complicated. And obviously we're here for, like, you know, the, you know, 10 trillion, 10,000 trillion APYs. All right. So let's see. Based and Tome LP. Oh, yeah. So this is tied to Tome or Tomb. So it's basically tied to Phantom, right? Because Tomb is tied to Phantom. So basically you get almost 10% APR. So this is really effing good money. All right. Base Tomb. This is the base token. <laughs> the base token, not base with a D, all right, but the fundamental token that is designed to be printed forever, all right, and then also go down if it needs to through, like, say, it falls under peg, then you buy bonds so that you burn some of the base tokens here. And, of course, here's the shares. So, base shares, 8.4%. So, as you always know, so as you know, I always prefer the shares, right, because that's the valuable thing. But I, they don't. Uh, they obviously do not have a based dash based share liquidity pool. So, so for now, I just do this because again, this thing. Because when I looked at, it, I was like, this thing is really overpaid. But there's also a shit ton of money in here, far more than any other fork. Oh yeah, you look at the chart. I mean, this thing has only been alive for basically two weeks, right? This is actually something I didn't actually consider before. I just knew it was relatively new, but then I didn't make the connection until now where I'm making this video for you guys. So that tells me that this thing is real, a really effing strong project. Print-based went... Expired timers? What? Oh, I didn't see this before. Oh, this is the boardroom. Yeah, but anyway, this is what I'm in on Yield Wolf, which you could see... Yeah, over here. FTM B share. And the great part is I don't have to deal with Tome. I just simply buy Phantom. Now, if you want to make more money, you could do Tomb Base, because this currently shows a little more APY. Uh, but again, you can also look at the total value locked as well. Most people just go for the shares, right? That's why I went into this. Also, with this many people in here, the community auto-compounding will pretty much be constant. If this garbage website... I don't know why it, it does so poorly on Brave Browser, which is what I'm showing you here, but my my... Google Chrome works perfect. Anyway, you could, yeah, see right here, one minute ago. When you have this many Papega clowns aping into this, or even putting in a little money like I did. Actually, how much money did I put into this? 
Uh, damn it, Rip A is going back up too. Man. Like that thing is so expensive, man. I mean, I might just have to just bite the bullet and just buy it overpriced. But anyway, uh, shoot, I have to, I have to go back. All right, well, I, I'm not gonna be able to go back, but all right, I was checking Chrome. But anyway, because there's just so many people in here, there's someone always gonna be hitting this button. So that's that's another reason why I went into this. So I figure. Even though it's a little lower daily APY, I'll, because I'm getting so many more compounds compared to, oh, great. Because I'm getting so many more compounds compared to tomb based, right? I figure it'll kind of even out, right? But there's probably nothing wrong going to tomb based as well, right? Assuming you don't mind this thing being way over peg, you know? And of course, and you know, this is nothing to sneeze at. 753k TVL. This is still way more than like pretty much all the other team forks we've been I've been covering, right? That we're, well, that I'm definitely in, and those do pretty well too, right? Yeah, this was this last last compounded like 41 seconds ago, but the point is, there's just a ton of people compounding like literally everything, and then I guess you can. I'm not going to go over the curve shit, because I don't personally understand it. It's way too complicated for me, so it's very time-consuming. I get, like, almost no money for it. So it's like... And to be honest, is it really that stable? I mean, just look at... Like, all these cryptos just go up and down like crazy anyway. So it's like, what's the point? It's one of the reasons why, you know, Grape Finance, it's like... Oh, it's supposed to be designed to be resistant to bear markets. Okay, we just had a correction. Well, what happened to grape and grape shares, right? Or wine shares? Yeah, shit tanked 50 to 60% anyway. So it's like, what, what was the point? I mean, it's still a good project, don't get me wrong, but it's like, yeah. I mean, like, if you really want stability, you're just going to have to just go in a stable coin, a pure stable coin with shitty yield, but it'll be safe. That is the only thing that works. Nothing else will work. Right, because something we're gonna get, we're gonna have to go into something a little more complicated, like the Greg Manorino stuff. But basically, everything is a derivative of the debt market. All right, crypto is a derivative right now, as of right now, a derivative of the debt market. All right, these stupid assholes, the federal, the central banks, and num and public enemy number one, the fucking Federal Reserve, because these motherfuckers keep doing this. Right, they're printing money. All right. Look how look how much more money is being printed. This is the U.S. dollars. Well, where do those U.S. dollars go? They go into bonds. They go into the stupid stock markets. And yes, it goes into. Why is everything not working? And it goes into cryptocurrencies. And luckily, it seems to be coming back a little bit because people are calling bullshit on the Russia Ukraine crap, and that's what we want because I'm sick and tired of seeing this thing go down. All right. I just want the bull run to start, all right? It's been, like, everything's been manipulated and suppressed so badly that it's just, like, very frustrating. You know, and thank God for Tomb Forks and Tomb, to be honest, right? That started this whole thing. Because at least we can just keep compounding, auto-compounding, and Yield Wolf, I should say, and auto-compounding and making actual income. So we could just ride this manipulation out. And if they manage to manipulate forever, then we just get an infinite income. So we still win no matter what happens. All right. I mean, the middle class is going to get destroyed, but not you and me. So, which is unfortunate. So, anyway, I was talking about all this money flowing into crypto in these markets. And, oh yeah, because I was bitching about great finance. So yeah, that's basically what always happens. The money just flows in and out, in and out, in and out. That's why you see these severe pump and dumps all over the place. And of course, cryptocurrencies... Is like the prime playing field right now so and that's why you and I are in this stuff so but yeah but either way base seems to be doing really really well it's actually one it's actually probably the strongest fork I've covered so far by far all right because no other fork has anywhere near this amount the second most because the strongest project after that well I mean there's two ohm and three ohm but at that point that's already considered safe all right I consider the mainstream for uh, I mean, I basically consider them part of Tomb, all right? I just spam those keywords for the SEO ranking because people are always searching 2 ohm 3 ohm fork. That's actually, a, you know, why I'm ranking so well. So, nice little secret for you content creators. They're going to steal all my views and subs. So, 
piggy, 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 oink, 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 finance, right? Piggy finance. You know, they just got hit pretty hard, but they're recovering pretty well, right? So I consider that now the second strongest because that was my first strongest project, for, fork project. Now it's this one. So I found this entirely on my own, right? Just by bro randomly browsing Yield Wolf. So this is just fantastic. And yeah, the yields are really, really nice. Like 8 to 10% on Yield Wolf, yes. All right, because I've been trying Beluga because I am actually in Platinum Finance, but I really don't like Beluga. It's like everyone says it's an auto compounder, but it doesn't seem to work. I even did manual compound it and it did nothing except waste my fees. And it, it didn't even claim, I think it did claim my reward. Did it claim my reward? It didn't even claim my reward. So I had to waste even more fees. I was like so pissed. I was like, this, this site sucks. Beluga, that is. But well, it's, the only thing, it's the only thing I can use. So anyway, uh, getting back to this. So very good, very good so far. Now I understand why now this crap is so expensive. And the, here's the boardroom, Acropolis. I, I I get that there's a the theme, but it's so annoying. I just want farms and I want boardroom. I want everything to just say the same thing, all right? It's just annoying that you have to deal with these things. That's the other thing too. The home page doesn't have anything. Well, at least they had the nice courtesy to give us the add to MetaMask for the token, but no chart, no text up here. So we I, you have to go into the documentation to look at the peg. I guess, I think it's one to one. Right, uh, by pegging base to toe, hence are providing. See, they don't even say what the peg is. Oh, it says right up here. Okay, and it's one to one with tome. Yeah, so it's way so, but yeah, but it's probably okay that this is over peg because of their tie to curve. I guess curve is that strong, which is why. Metaverse Pro went into congruent war, uh, went became congruent to go move to Ethereum to do the convex curve war shit, which of course is still taking forever for the stupid value of that token to go back up. But anyway, yeah, so that's uh, so yeah, right now it's seven point fifty seven above peg, all right. But I think it could, pr like, I would still advise caution, especially if you're gonna go into well, really, you're gonna have to adv I have to advise caution on any of these. Because when I went in a couple days ago, uh, base shares were around four thousand dollars, I think. So you know, so I'm already in deep profit with this. I, I put in like three hundred bucks or three hundred twenty bucks at the time. So you know, and I'm, right now I'm just uh, you know doing very well with Yield Wolf. I was, I was about to confuse this Beluga. So and here are the contracts for all their tokens and bonds and base shares and boardroom blah 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 so everything here according to this is renounced so we have full renouncing of everything so don't have to worry about that kind of rug pull i mean yeah i mean at this point i don't even have to, even though i didn't know about the renouncing like you, no one's gonna put in 69.3 million dollars into a brand new tomb fork project if they thought it was gonna be a rug pull or renounce scam or whatever it is right which is why everyone always asks for it. So I just go, this is basically signal intelligence to me, or more simply in this particular case, social proof. All right? People with this much money are not retarded. All right? So, you know, they, they, they probably go, oh, okay, everything's fine. So I'm like, oh, okay, this is fine too. I guess you could say this is a fake number. I mean, that's always possible, I guess. But... I don't know. Everything checks out so far, and on top of that, you're on Yield Wolf, right? I don't know why people still say this, but in order to get listed on Yield Wolf, you have to renounce certain contracts, right? And when it comes to Tomb Forks, they specifically want you to renounce the base token, right? The fundamental token. You can still keep ownership of the other contracts because Yield Wolf still gives you the devs flexibility to make changes to the project, especially because there are bunks of like you know, all over the place. So, yeah, and you see now this token's being uh, dumped on a little. So we'll see. But either way, you know, if you by the time you watch this video, maybe you want to wait, right? You know, I just chose to go in because I just saw this on an uptrend, right? So I was like, oh, okay, you know what? I'll just put in some money, whatever. You know, if it goes down, it goes down. But, you know, again, there's just a lot of money in here. So, yeah, they're doing something right. So it's up to you if you want to wait. 
if you're going to go in at... Because remember, right now it's still technically quite overpriced. But there's so much buying pressure and demand pressure. So it depends on how, what your risk appetite is. Right? And again, maybe a couple of you who are watching this actually know about Geist and Curve and know a lot about it. So you'll have to just do the math calculations on your own. Right? Because, yeah. You know... I just, I just want, I just want my free money, and I just set and forget. So let's see. So that's renouncing. Oh yeah, we didn't go over boardroom. I mean, as you know, I don't like boardrooms anymore because again, I don't like having my money just locked away, right? And then everyone else dumps, and then I get fucked in the ass, especially without my permission and with no Vaseline. Actually, I would never give permission to that. But. You know, in this case, it's four, so you have to wait 24 hours before you can pull your money out. Ah, oh, forget it, man. But, you know, in case you want to do boardroom stuff, you get 1937. But, I mean, the boardroom is kind of useless right now. Look. Yeah, you, you, you make more money doing the B-share, excuse me, phantom liquidity pool. Yeah, you make way more doing that. Let's see, what does the base token to tomb give? Yeah, you make even you can also make more doing the base tomb thing. So right now the boardroom is actually kind of worthless. And I actually noticed that uh, devs and do this on purpose because you don't actually want your base token to get hyperinflated. So it's actually a really smart move to do. <clears throat> but you, but you obviously just can't turn off the boardroom, right? Especially after you renounced it, so you gotta let it go. And of course I can't see. Oh, there might be a way. There's 2,300 and basically 91 B shares staked into this clown. So, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, okay. So, all right. So, I guess they must have done something and they go, okay, we have too many based tokens out there. So, we got to slow down the boardroom. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised because there's 335,000 of these tokens. So... Works for me. Like, whoever is running this project obviously knows what they're doing. So that's why I was willing to take the gamble on this. Which And it's funny because now you can see... Because remember, this thing is way over peg. So it's supposed to actually go down by a lot. Alright? So just be very careful. Nothing wrong with just waiting this, waiting this out. But... You know, if you want to dip your toes in, just do what, I, what I'm doing. Alright? What I'm recommending. Just put in very little money. We're talking like 0.5 to 1%. All right? If you put in any more than that, I mean, don't come bitching at me when you, you know, get your ass reamed by, like, a giant price drop. Because I'm telling you, it's supposed to be lower, all right? Because this asshole is seven, is seven and a half above peg. Normally, in every other tomb fork, when it's this high, it always crashes 80, 90%. All right, I did a Zilla finance update video right yesterday. All right, and everyone pretty much liked it, but there was like one asshole that just didn't like it and you know, gave me a dislike. I mean, you can't see it, which is great, but I just got a little annoyed because, you know, I was also in the Zilla finance chat and this asshole I had to block because he was fudding like crazy. So actually some of you who are in, who were there at the time watching this, yeah, you know exactly what I was talking about. All right, he was fudding like crazy and it's like, okay, it's like, you know, I'm doing content, I'm helping the project, and you're fucking complaining about it. All right? That really annoyed me. So that's why I just blocked him. Because you can't argue with someone that's acting like a woman, and emotionally unstable woman, specifically. Uh, and, and I was like, yeah. I unblocked him later, because he eventually realized, oh, yeah, you know, I changed my mind. You know, David was right. So I unblocked him. Because I always, I always like it when someone admits that they're wrong. Because then I understand that this person's not egotistical. All right, because if, if you can't admit that you're wrong, you're finished. You're done. You're going to lose. You're going to lose all your money, and I don't want that to drag me and everyone else. And, you know, I guess this is my community now, you guys and girls. I don't want them dragging us down, right? You know, the, the, the hallmark of a loser is a person that cannot admit that they're wrong, right? You know, I haven't done politics shit in a while, but... This was a big reason why Donald Trump got fucked over in 2020, because he can't admit that he's wrong. So he waits until it's too late, and then we all get fucked, right? But I think to this day, he still hasn't admitted it, So, or maybe he did it in private. I, I don't know. But, 
you know, we won't have to hear from him anyway until like next year or whatever. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna really pay attention that much. Okay, so I think that pretty much does it. I mean, I covered just about everything. I'll make sure I have all the links provided to all of you. And yeah, I guess I'll just see you in the next project. Oh, great, I accidentally fired up Firefox. All right, so the next project is Magic Finance. So that's going to be a good gem. Uh, Sunday Finance, actually, I also did Ice Cream Finance video yesterday. I actually didn't know when Sunday was coming out. Actually, I didn't even bother checking the Twitter. So it's coming out today. So I might actually put out... Actually, I won't be able to put out... I don't know. I'm going to do three videos. I'll, I'll see because I can't put any content out tomorrow. Because i got to do family stuff. So maybe Monday. But on the other hand, you know what? It's the Genesis pool. So I'm probably going to go live. Because I want to make sure I actually get in first. I really want to be the first person on YouTube to actually have those keywords. Especially the Genesis pool. So, yeah. Because YouTube always ranks very brand new content, like literally just fresh, like it just got uploaded. That that always gives me like a huge boost, right? Especially if the YouTube algorithm recognizes that previous videos that I've done, you know, get a really good watch time. Because this guy hits breaking news, right? And I have my tags, you know, rank uh, that include Bitcoin news. So I also rank for that. It's like, oh yeah, we gotta put this guy at the top. This is breaking news. Yeah, see, I've been doing SEO for a long time, and I kind of quit in the mid-2010s, right, because I was doing crypto shit. But I still haven't forgotten a lot of the important stuff, you know. All right, so anyway, um, okay, so the next project will be Magic Finance. Probably later tonight, I'll do Sunday Finance. I have to wait for Sunday Finance website to be revealed, because it's coming out. When's it coming out? It's coming out 5 p.m. my time in New York because they use Pacific Standard Time. So they're 2 p.m. Pacific for them. Okay, I'm in Platinum Finance. So that'll probably be the third video. But there's also My Chicken Farm because I'm actually doing pretty well at My Chicken Farm. So I'm also in that too. So we technically have like five videos to do today. I don't know. We'll see. So let me just bang out the next one. So I'll see you in the next video or next time. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, next video is going to be Magic Finance. This one's going to be a much higher risk, but I'm already kind of in somewhat. Actually, am I in profit with that? No. Oh, yeah, because the Magic share. Yeah, their, their shit's like very volatile. So whatever. Anyway, I'll talk about it there. So yeah, this is how we want to do. Uh, yeah, it does actually. Yeah, just my luck. Just as I'm doing this video, it does look like it's finally dipping a little bit. Right? Yeah, I'm seeing some gigant gone tour, you know, dumps. So remember what I said. This shit's really far above peg, so be very careful. All right. And I bought the B shares when this thing was at like four thousand or forty-two hundred dollars, and it's at fifty-five hundred bucks. So I already got in pretty well. So I'm not really too worried. But uh. Just make sure limit limit your investment into this, right? You ape into this, I mean, you're literally at you're you're gonna wind up like me, right? With Metaverse Pro, you're gonna like lose all your fucking money, right? So I mean, this is this is obviously a much more stable project, so that's like less that's probably not gonna happen. But the point is, you know, you ape into based what is it based tomb liquidity pool, and then this asshole drops from thirteen seventy five to like five bucks i mean you just got hit with a 60 65 percent you know price correction right if you so if you sell and especially as a panic sell at that point you just lost 60 to 65 percent of all the money that you put into this i don't know that just seems retarded to me all right just just ignore the thoughts ignore the greed ignore satan and just just be mechanical be methodical all right, just put in a small amount of money into this shit. All right. Oh, and of course, uh, use Yield Wolf. This 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 thing is literally just gonna mint millionaire, multi millionaires, multi deca millionaires. So, see you next video. Thanks.